Darren is finally here. I'm excited, you're excited, everyone's excited, and so let's talk about her and if she lives up to the hype. So the reason why everyone's excited for Darren is because of one big thing. She deals a lot of damage, and I mean a lot, through mainly her exclusive crime brand, but also her kit, which we'll go over right now. So she's a fury character and gains a lot of extra damage when the enemy's cores are broken, which helps you sort of execute enemies down, especially with her ultimate screenplay that has her well throw a screenplay at the enemy dealing a bunch of damage with this being able to store two charges, which is really nice. So this is a bit basic, but don't worry, because the next ability, 24 frames, completely changes Darren and makes her much better. So 24 frames allows Darren to gain interfere stacks if she meets certain conditions, and these interfere stacks heavily improve Darren and her abilities to the point of her being overpowered. So the three conditions are survive for 24 seconds, kill 12 enemies, and use her ultimate three times. So as you can see, these conditions aren't that hard to achieve and the benefits they provide are amazing. So for one stack of interfere, you will gain additional normal attack speed and the damage of her attacks will go up starting at 24%. So this is obviously really nice as it helps a lot with her consistent damage and allows her to deal much more damage while her ultimate and her exclusive crime brain are down. Two stacks of interfere will allow her ultimate to firstly move Darren to the target location and deal damage to the two grids in front of her and deal core damage and it can now crit. So yeah, it's really good. But the big thing is firstly the ability to deal core damage is always something much needed, especially because this ultimate can charge up to two times, meaning potentially Darren can deal two core damage in a battle which is really nice especially for a fury character to have and especially with more and more enemies having cores on them. The ability to now crit with her ultimate is also really good as it makes her damage skyrocket especially with her next passive but also her shackles that help increase her crit rate. If you pair her with the crime brands that help increase her crit rate or even other sinners then that will be very beneficial. The final stack of interfere will increase her attack speed each time she moves for 10 seconds. Now this is really nice, it helps out a ton with her damage as because Darren deals so much damage per normal attack because of her crit rate and dealing critical hits having attack speed buffs are especially useful as well as the fact that with her ultimate she'll now be able to move to a target location and so she'll gain this buff. Now the final daring ability will increase her crit rate and crit damage by a certain percentage each time she gains an interfere stack. So this further emphasizes the importance of getting these stacks as fast as possible so you can reap the rewards and start dealing high amounts of damage. This buff is also really good with the max rank as it will give you 10% crit rate per sec meaning you can gain a total of 30% which is absolutely amazing and so overall her kit is amazing with a ton of damage packed in there but the thing is it's still not the best part of her as we still have her exclusive crime brand that puts her onto a whole new level. So this exclusive crime band will have Darren focus and deal huge amounts of damage to all enemies in a single grid with the damage multiplier equal to 300% and this is where it gets good as for each stack of interfere you have you gain an additional 200% damage at the lowest rank going up to 300% damage per stack meaning this can deal a total of 1200% damage but get this you'll be able to use this exclusive crime band three times in a battle meaning three times 1200 is a possible 3,600% damage from the exclusive crime brand alone which I mean it's crazy it's so much damage packed into one character and the thing is there's still one more thing this exclusive crime brand can crit meaning the damage could even be higher than this and so it's absolutely nuts and it's probably the first exclusive crime brand that I would highly recommend to level up to the maximum rank it is that that good. Also, combine this with her already high damage ultimate and normal attacks, you're looking at the strongest center in the game by a decent amount, at least in terms of damage output that she can bring, which again can still be further increased with her shackles, which are actually really good, especially one three and five as the first shackle will allow Darren to start the battle with one stack of interfere and increasing the maximum stacks to four meaning not only will the exclusive crime brand damage be increased more by another 
100%, but her second passive will also gain an additional stack, meaning her crit rate bonus can increase from 30% to 40%. This is absolutely nuts. And this shackle is probably the best shackle in the entire game in terms of just straight up damage, and is one I highly recommend you go for if you have enough hypercube saved up. Her third shackle will increase the team's damage by 3% per interfere stack, which again is really useful. Any team buffs in this game is incredibly useful for more damage as the faster you can output damage, the better. And this buff is one of the best, going up to a maximum of 12% damage increase, which is really nice. And again, I recommend to go for this if you have the money. Finally, her fourth shackle will allow her to start the battle with her ultimate, meaning you can get to these stacks even faster, which is nice. And so definitely, definitely get Darren. Get her exclusive crime brand, level her exclusive crime brand, get her shackles. It is so worth it. And so if you are lucky enough to get all of that, then you are rewarded with the strongest sinner in the game, Darren. And so thank you for watching.